Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Turismo 4, Part 93. So, we are going on to the Grand Canyon Normal event now. Kind of took me a minute to find a car to use for this, but I have the Celica GT4 that I bought a long time ago, and I fully upgraded it because I was bored. And this is what we're going to be using without the upgrades, so I'm going to take whatever I can off. I think I have, like, full rate, weight reduction and other stuff like that on it, which I can't undo. I'm going to keep the nitrous on. Yes, it's a little cheesy, but... This is going to be a little bit harder to do. And I think I'm going to set the suspension back to default. I'm just going to take off the, the spoiler and GT Auto. And I think that's all I'm going to do to it. So, gotta go buy some dirt tires for this thing. Which are very expensive in this game, for some reason. Makes the early game really hard. But I have plenty of credits, so screw it. Oh yeah, that's right, I could add just, or just add some ballast weight to it. But I'm going to see what the A-spec points look like first. So... On to Grand Canyon Normal. Two three-lap races once again. And, uh, let's see how disastrous this could turn out. Alright, attempt number three. Well, two. Technically. Pretty much, if I don't get around the Evo right off the bat, then I'm screwed. So that's what I'm gonna do. Bazinga. Now I just gotta keep it behind me. And if I start driving sloppy, then it's going to unrealistically get around me super, super fast like it's trying to do now. Didn't have a good approach to that turn right there. Let's turn on the wheel just because. Bye-bye. Kind of. Invisible wall. Evo's still keeping up. I look behind for half a second, then my line's all screwed up. I think the key with most of these special and condition events is just getting around the opponent right away.
Yep. Breaking a little too late right there. That corner, every single time, I swear. Yeah, the Thousand Miles is definitely the worst event in this entire game. Because it's either you pick something slow and you drive with other slow cars, or you pick something fast and drive against one fast car. It was the worst. Also, that Camaro sucked. I hated it. Don't know what I was thinking whenever I decided to drive it. But then again, what 1970 or earlier car is good to drive? Almost none. Yeah, my Sony A6000 is ancient technology. It doesn't have a mic jack. You can't charge it while you use it. Uh, it doesn't have a front-facing camera. Or, well, not camera, herp derp. It doesn't have a front-facing screen. Come on, rotate. Oh, hit the e-brake. I wonder how the e-brake behaves on this. Not really useful. I wanted to use a Genetta G4 for the 1000 miles, but I could not drive it. The steering... For, I mean, I'm sure the Janetta's fine on a controller, but for a wheel, it has the spongiest steering of any car ever. Like, it feels like you have a ton of input lag with it. It's super spongy, and because of that, it's very hard to control. And, uh, also, the Evo has disappeared. Last race, it was dominating me, and now I'm dominating it just because I got ahead of it. I don't think my driving's gotten that much better. Yeah, I tend to do that quite a lot. I tend to... It's so weird, because I'm generally pretty good at multitasking whenever it comes to, like, work and stuff. Like, I can handle doing multiple things at one time, but whenever it comes to talking and driving, I can't do it. It's the same thing for, like, listening to music and playing a game. The music is just too distracting for me, and then I can't function. <laughs> Bonk. A little sloppy for the final lap, but there we go. Holy crap, no more wheel noise for a few minutes. I wonder how. I'm surprised my G29 isn't burning up like the motors. Oh, Billy. So, 10,000 credits for a race like that. God, that was awful. 
Time for the reverse layout. All right, up next, Grand Canyon Reverse. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we're going against a Cleo this time, finally. <clears throat> I knew the Cleo was in these events, but it just took long enough for it to show up. Back down to four A spec points, yay. I really didn't want to make these too easy, but look how that turned out. And because the Cleo is an MR. Hasta la vista. Okay, maybe not. He just ran me. Stop it. You bully. Oh boy, what am I doing? I just killed a few spectators right there. Hello. So weird that a freaking Cleo of all things shows up to a dirt rally. Oh boy, come on. Those rough edges really like to slow you down. I'll catch back up. No biggie. And just like that, I've jinxed myself. Knock on wood. Oh my gosh, six gear already. Oh boy. It'll buff out. Okay, I haven't driven this direction in a while, so I'm not used to it. This might be a problem. Oh, come on, steer. Steer. that turn would be. Ah! I cannot drive all of a sudden. E-brake is useless. Like always. Oh, I forgot. Wheel. Derp. That's the E-brake, not nitrous. I changed my nitrous to the X button so it's easier for me to reach. Oh, too fast. Too furious. Cleo likes to go really slow on that one specific spot. All right, gonna try to dump him. Try to pop up that app. There's a sentence screw up for y'all. Now y'all are waiting for it. Oh boy, a little too much. Turn! Yeah, all this suffering for just four ASMEC points, can you believe it? What a ripoff. Hey, I didn't destroy myself this time. And just like that, I would have died in real life. Oh, wheel, can you be any louder, please? I don't think my neighbors can hear you just yet. 
Once again, still terrible at that corner, no matter what direction we go. Bring it around town. Come on, let's go. Okay, way too much speed going over that hill. I can afford being a little bit more clean this lap because Leo's decent distance behind. I wish I could turn off that suggested gear indicator thing. I mean, I can, but I have to train. I turn change. I try to say turn and change at the same time. Yeah. I have to put the HUD to simple mode, which gets rid of a lot of the stuff that I want to see. That's just one thing I really want in GT Sport. Just give us a lot of customization options whenever it comes to like the HUD or changing things like... Instead of just making it a a wide or narrow chase cam just give us like a slider for it instead like I don't see how hard that could be okay that was terrible imagine if this was an actual event just like a rally stage on the cliffs of the Grand Canyon. If you thought Group B was dangerous, shoot. Too much speed once again. Alright, Cleo actually almost managed to get around me again. But there we go. Yeah, that was a thing. My hands now feel weird because of all that shaking. So, Grand Canyon event complete, finally. That was awful. 10,000 credits once again. Time for our next prize car. I think this is some kind of Mitsubishi. And I am correct, but not the one I was thinking of. I might have to use this in one of the... Special condition hard events. Probably at C to the Ario or something. But there we have it. Let's go check it out. 320 brake horsepower, not bad. Little ugly, but I kind of like these style rally cars. 
Wait, why did I get in it? I'm not driving it. E-moment. Anyways, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 4.